All right, y'all, surprise in one of our favorite pediatric offices today, Premier Pediatrics. They struggle, got purpose, and we grow. So whatever role we have to take next, all I need to know is that we'll roll with the punches. All right, y'all. Happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. Here we go. Another week. We got a fight on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday. For a right to party on Friday and Saturday and Sunday, y'all. It's time. It's, it's, we got to put in that work on Monday. I'm headed to uh, Small Cakes. Headed to Small Cakes to uh, get some cupcakes for some special people that I really appreciate. Um, Premier Pediatrics, one of our favorite pediatric offices in uh, Kansas City. We're gonna get them some cupcakes just to show them some love, just to show them some love, to uh, say thank you for all the excellent patient coordination and uh, just through this difficult time with COVID we just really want to show our support for one of the excellent pediatric offices in Kansas City y'all we love them at Premier Pediatrics one of our favorites one of our top pediatric offices so we're gonna go get some cupcakes <music> Mayor, thank you so much for everything that you do. You guys are the best. Thank you, thank you. All right, y'all, dropped off the cupcakes. All the doctors were seeing patients. They were not available. Uh, so I get to uh, chat with Dr. Winburn um, and Dr. Bush and all their great staff. But guys, I love Premier Pediatrics. They're great at coordinating care and uh, they're just one of the uh, top pediatric offices, I believe, in Johnson County. Between client sessions, it's about two o'clock, and I'm just editing this video that I'm gonna put out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, just on procrastination. This was, um, procrastination is more of a and think emotional about issue than it is a time you management don't issue. Don't procrastinate those. You or makes you anxious or just makes you uncomfortable, makes you have a negative thought or feeling in some way. The procrastination is just an avoidance of that, right? So the avoidance is just uh, a way of saying that I don't feel like doing it right now. I don't feel like doing it, I don't want to, because it causes some either negative thought or negative feeling. Just think about the things that you want to do. Things, think, think about the things that in, you enjoy, right? And think about how often you don't procrastinate those. And you do those things, but the things that you don't want to do, you procrastinate. Well, it's that emotion that comes up that we really need to work through. Um, it's not scheduling and it's not trying to be more organized with procrastinating. It's like, no, we got to deal with those thoughts and emotions because that procrastination is just a behavior. So dealing with the thoughts and the emotions, then the idea is, is when that situation comes up and I procrastinated before, then I can use, then I can change my thoughts and work through my feelings now then to behaviorally to do the thing that I would have procrastinated. Okay, it's time for what's been coming up in client sessions. Well, I, I just want to uh, say thank you to so many clients, so many clients right now, especially the parents 
are letting me just dig into them a little bit just letting me dig into them um, all out of care and and um, just love and compassion uh, but so many of us lately that I've talked to parents have been focused on their kids and the struggles their kids are having especially behaviorally and um, I just really love turning it back on the parents for just a second not to say the parents are to blame but I really believe the parents are the foundation the models for their their kids emotional control and regulation and so there's two things that I always encourage parents to do is to be calm and be consistent and we can add compassionate in there also and I guess we could add empathetic in there also right but I think sometimes a lot of times as parents we have a way of we want things done um, really I see two different types of parents one parent that wants things done and they want it done this way and there's very little wiggle room and then there's the other parent that is not strong and confident enough and so they uh, allow their child too much wiggle room right and um, I really uh, enjoyed lately just being able to talk with parents and to see kind of uh, which style more they fall into and then seeing how we can be more consistent and how we can deliver the expectation expectation to our children and then back off and just observe and just see how things are going and then coming back around in uh, re rewards and consequences and just trying to make it simple and basic but uh, one thing as parents if you don't have your own emotions regulated then we can't expect your children to right we've got to find that inner Yoda in us we got to find that peace within us um, and once we do that then um, we're able to then apply whatever system we're using and we can hold our children more responsible for their choices they're making but uh, shout out to all those parents that are allowing me just to poke and prod and um, do all that hard work do all that hard work and uh, some some of our conversation takes us way back takes takes us way back and before parents were adults and they were just children and really looking at how their uh, emotional regulation or dysregulation has evolved over time and just kind of the environment that they lived in and then uh, kind of how that uh, set them up um, as parents, right? Thank you, parents. Thank you. The whole point of this. And so just expect it. And when you expect they're going to get anxious and they don't, then, then that's just icing on the cake, all right? That's just, a thing, that, that's just a win for you guys. But at least you are prepared and you're in a place where you are now being proactive when they do get anxious. Um, celebrate your child getting anxious because that's when the true work happens um uh, you know depending on who you've talked to professionally or maybe even um as you know family and and maybe a family or friend support you know i think there's general i think there in our culture there's this idea that we want to try to take the anxiety away we want them to feel more comfortable you know just when you're <clears throat> when you're anxious just to put on headphones or you know just play a game on your phone or or you know whatever it might be like that 